viewers and subscribers we're presently at pier one the waterfront restaurant here in montego bay one of the top locations for entertainment and dining this is the aftermath after after what persons still deem as a cold front that passed through the island yesterday yesterday it was chaos in this area persons lost 45 seater coaster buses 16 seater uh, mastercraft speedboat that value thousands of US dollars uh, you name it they lost it yesterday I will try and zoom in and for you to get a better a look at some of the things that happened yesterday this is the marine area that's one boat partially submerged boat vessels belonging to the Montego Bay Marine Park I would want to say it's pure luck uh, yeah the moorings that they were tied to uh, really really good moorings So both vessels are still floating. That's a parasail boat on the Howard Cook Highway. That was also moored in the same area as both these vessels right here. A six person life raft. These rafts are usually used on a, a large cargo boats and ships. Uh, license to take six persons on board very seaworthy i'm not sure if it was being used as a rescue boat to tender but uh it's here on land me and you are about the same age uh, have you ever seen anything like this i tell you um you know all my the, the, the hurricane that did um and we're gonna get the last big origin we have here. We are down four and them things they were out. Damn it. You never seen Not even the origin that we get here. Do this kind of damage? No, not the guy can It's sitting right before the did you get a chance to look at the two coaster buses? Not coaster, it's 45 seat up. Yeah. Yeah man, next to them. I did the reason that's the reason why I We'll make sure to be to come over here to see for myself. See for yourself. You don't want people to tell you our seat on social media. Um, first, when my daughter this morning said to me that three buses damaged over here, and if any of my co workers have called me, they ask me, How you stay? Because they know me work for here one. He said, No. So, Mr. Clark, how long have you been coming to Pier One? From, Roughly from Pier One open. Give, give, give me. 25 30 years a little over 30 years yes and never i mean they've had their fair share of um, water damages as i hear jason yesterday when he was on the news and he said that um what happened here it has happened already but this is maybe is different it's completely different from what he had really passed through i remember the last one when it was it was not like this Mr. Clark, yes, sir. take care of yourself, stay safe on the roads. God bless you. Thank you. I am happy to report that work has begun. They've started the cleaning up exercise. Let me just turn around so you can see what we're talking about. This is inside a waterfront restaurant. And they've started the cleaning up exercise. Viewers. General. Yes, yes, yes. Most yes. things good, giving thanks. Holy for thanks. Yes, it could have been worse. Holy, holy, much worse. Can we have held thanks for What is obvious is that the team, your team is out in the full complement and work has begun in terms of repairing and getting Pier, uh, Pier 1 up and running. ASAP. Definitely, definitely. Everybody showing up. All of the staff, friends, family, 
broom, shovel, wheelbarrow, hose, backhoe, all kind of things that work. One, one of the key things to, to note is that there are persons here assisting with the cleaning up exercise who are not part of your team and uh, part of the staff. No. They're just friends and probably yeah, VIPs here at Pier 1. Yeah man, yeah man, yeah man. Everybody is VIP at Pier 1. Everyone is dying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that's but a yeah man, thing. we're getting a lot of support um, and it does warm my heart. It tells me that Pier 1 is loved um, and that people want to see the place back up and running for many different reasons. And I don't think it's selfish. I think people genuinely feeling the energy um of course peer pressure is this friday and i'm getting a lot of calls this friday this friday this friday okay. and um my birthday is tomorrow so i have to find a little secret location maybe even here i don't know yet it just might happen it just might happen we're pushing hard let me ask you this real quickly though jason before i mean i know you're really busy and i appreciate you taking the time out to speak to Anshu a little bit mm -hmm. um the weather we experienced yesterday mm -hmm. We've seen weather conditions, I mean, Pier 1, like any other place I've had, is fair share of waterfront damages as a result of strong winds and big waves. Yeah. But have you ever seen anything like this over the past no, 20 not, years? not me personally, no. You've heard of it? I've never seen the sea get so angry. Yes. Mother Nature is telling us something. <laughs> yes, so. Um, so yeah, it, 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 it felt like a perfect storm. If there is such a thing, it, it, it came with a veracity that I've never seen before. Okay, but with all, I mean, no damage, no injuries to staff. Yeah. No, no, we're all healthy and um, ready to go. Ready to go. So, Sir, I've known you for, I've known you for about 15 years, and I know when you say this is going to be up and running before you know it, viewers and subscribers, this will be up and running yes, in man. Yes, uh, man. 48 yes, hours. Yes, Whatever man. it is, something's going to be happening here in 48 hours. Yes, man. Somewhere or the other. Thanks for taking Somewhere the time out to speak to Andrew we'll a little bit. No problem, Stay man. Stay safe. Up. Every uh, time. Well, you heard it. You heard it from the owner of uh, Pier One that Pier One will be up and running in 48 hours. The cleaning exercise has started. Pier pressure is going to be this Friday here. Yes. See, the, they say trust the process, and uh, as I said, they've started the work, and Pier One will be up and running before you know it in uh, less than 48 hours. The bar staff are seeing they're getting their stuff together. When we say millions lost, we truly mean it. This is one of many bus that got damaged during the little freak storm yesterday, and it's right on the waterfront here in Montego Bay. Look at, check this out. This is one bus, let me Go on the other side get photograph get the video footage of the other one this is as a result of what most persons are still calling a freak storm that passed through yesterday not a cold front everybody putting their own spin on it some persons are saying it's climate change the ocean is claiming claiming back the land This is one more bus and if you look carefully let me see if I can go around here Bobby. hey hey doggy hey doggy oh you're injured doggy the doggy got injured there check this out check this out millions of dollars lost look look at look at this in this one area four buses are seen plunging plunging over in the ocean look 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 at that check it out right here on the waterfront in Montego Bay. We understand that a number of our water sport operators also were negatively impacted by all of this. Uh, boats washed ashore, you name it. 
and based on what you just saw just what you saw just now it is safe to say at least four bus in this one area uh, are total because with all that salt water water pounding the buses right through broken windows I mean engine soaked with water salt water that is uh, these buses are gonna be written off the two coaster buses right here also suffered the same fate